I've been testing fitness bands with built-in heart rate sensors for the last month. Here are some things that actually happened to me. I just climbed 17 flights of stairs. There's no way my heart rate's at 77. 100 beats per minute sounds a little high for channel surfing. That's why I'm here at my cardiologist's office. Yes, some of the numbers I've seen on these wrist-worn heart rate monitors have made me pretty worried, but I also wanted to see just how accurate they are. So, Dr. Osher, is my heart okay? It's a young, normal, healthy, beautiful, marvelous looking heart. So what you're saying is my heart's okay? Yes, it's very okay. And your heart rate is also kind of is slow. It, here it looks like it's about 60, which is a very good resting heart rate. The next step was a stress test and to compare the EKG readings to the optical heart rate sensors in the basis peak and the Microsoft band I'd been testing. When I was just standing still, both bands had comparable results to the machine. Right now I'm getting 86 on my wrist here. What is, what's the machine saying? 86. It seems to be locked at 71, 72. And the machine said exactly the same. But when I started moving, things didn't stick so well. So you're saying it's about 100? Yes, well now it could be 110. And the basis is still at 90. But companies like Polar and Garmin say chest strap monitors are far more accurate. And that's exactly what I found. You're about 120-ish here. Okay, 120 there, 119 here. Excellent. The Polar stuck with it too, even when the workout got harder. When the EKG said I was at 130, the Polar said 132. Basis said 115, and Microsoft 100. When the EKG was at 146, the Polar was exactly at 146. The basis caught up a bit at 135, but Microsoft was still stuck at 100. The Microsoft band was especially badly behaved at the doctor. It's typically worked better in my testing, especially during workouts. Microsoft and basis say the sensors are sampling heart rate many times a second, and some of the issues could be related to my wrist size and the positioning of the band. Still, the doctor agreed that the chest strap, while more uncomfortable and inconvenient, will be more accurate. Well, I for one am feeling much better that my heart is okay, but what I'm not feeling better about is the fact that many of these $200 fitness bands, like the Microsoft and the Basis, are giving us readings we just shouldn't take to heart. If you're looking to measure your heart rate during workouts especially, I would go with a heart rate strap, like this one from Polar or this one from Garmin, or find your local cardiologist. You're very fit, you're in good shape, and uh, bravo to you. <laughs> you guys heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs>